Hello. Now this is where we're gonna really start doing stuff. Today, we're gonna add a character to your mod. What you're gonna need is your character sprite sheet, an XML, your icon, and hopefully your character icon color if it doesn't automatically detect it. So let's get started. First, you're gonna find your character that you've made. I'll use these sprites that I've made for Mickey. I called them I called them I called them Mickey Front. You can name them whatever you want. And then once you've got your character, you're gonna to want to put your character in images and in images characters. Once you've done that, you're gonna to want to find your icon as well, which I'll also use my Mickey icon that I've choose, which will go in images and icons. The you don't have to add the icon dash. And then you can also choose the icon color if you want. And also there's a new, there's a li neat little feature that I think is really cool, so let me grab it. So you can make folders for your own, for like separation, but also you can use it for making characters with multiple sprite sheets and they're sectioned off. But the thing is you're gonna have to rename them or either name them two, one, two, and so on, so that they're connected together, basically. So I'll teach you guys how to do it with and without this. So they have Mickey with that, and then I'll find another character to do. I'll do uh, I'll do this I'll do Bambi for the regular testing. Time to add your characters. So open up the code name engine. Uh, you can watch either the second video I've made or you can, yeah, you can just press tab and then you'll enable your mod. So now for seven or whatever key you have, go through the character editor. Now it's time to add a new character. Press this new character thing either by clicking or pressing enter. Then this will show up. You're going to want to name your character to whatever you want. For this tutorial, we're going to use Bambi. And then find the image file. You don't have to have, you don't have to find the XML. And then either if you put it in there already or it's in a different location, things will change. So if you put it in a different location, uh, oh yeah, first, you can choose a directory for it if you want. And then this will pop up if you already put it in. If you already put it in here, you don't actually have to put it in. All right. Not go into your character. They'll they will already have your animations. They will already have the animations put in. For some reason, Bambi is the missed one. I, I don't know why. That's probably just only a Bambi thing. So for this, we're gonna want to move our character to wherever wherever you like. Just depending on the stage that you're using, you want to put them about on the left, like right about there. In Edit Info, we're gonna have to add your icon. Forgot to actually get Bambi's icon. Not bad. Yeah, then it will automatically do it. I don't think it. I don't think it is caps uh, case sensitive, so you can just make it all caps if you want. But then you can either click this, and if it doesn't work, set it to your own to your own liking. Save and close is very very helpful, and also saving after you do something. So next, we're gonna ghost ghost the idol, and we're going to position them, and we're gonna do some eyeballing with the positioning. You'll just have to do this. No real, no real skill on doing this. All you have to do is like line them up, eyeball them, eyeball them. That boy put them safe in bed and safe in bunny money. Put that boy in safe and turn right off for that boy. Positions done. You can save the character and also tweak some other settings if you want to. And either if the character is a boyfriend, girlfriend, or dad, then it'll move them to the appropriate spot. And and you can also change if they're playable or not by doing dad or boyfriend. Saving it. And then once you've done that, all the assets folder characters are gone now. This is normal. Now Bambi is a character. Good. Now it's now it's. Now let's uh, test them to see if they work. So the dad battle, whatever difficulty, then we're gonna change dad Bambi. Sometimes it'll auto-correct, which is cool. And then there he is, it's Bambi. There's Bambi, guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why the anim miss animations are there, but it probably won't be like that for you. That's how you add your character. Super simple. We're going to move on to adding a song. So, uh, they can... 
On Halloween, there will be a Randy. You gonna take his pick.